Hey there, friend. Thank you for joining me on this episode 134 of the Positioning to Profit podcast. I'm Patty Dominguez, and I'm happy you're here. Today's episode is going to share just a little nugget on one word that you can use that will increase your persuasive power. Who couldn't use more of that? Now, the cool thing about this word is that you can use it in your emails, in the written word, if you're putting together a sales page, or for example, if you are in the middle of of a sales conversation, you can use it on Tuesday, you can use it tomorrow, whenever you want to use it. The point is, is that this one word is going to be a powerful tool that you have in your toolbox. All right, and if you can hear the yelpy puppy in the background, it's because, yeah, we got a puppy, Ruby, and she is quite the handful. Okay, so cool thing here is, is I'm going to give you some examples of how you can potentially use this word to be more persuasive with your premium prospects, and it really positions you in a more powerful light, and who couldn't use more of that? Also, we have a very exciting uh, app coming out. It's called the, the Positioning Club. As of right now, we're putting together the final touches. It has been a labor of love, y'all. It has given me some headaches, but we're getting closer and closer to it. If you're interested in joining the wait list so that you're the first to know when we launch, go to positioningclub.com. I promise you it'll be well worth it. Okay, and so with that, let's get on with the show. I'm going to tell you about this persuasive word and rock it out. Okay, here we go. Hey there, I'm Patty Dominguez. You're about to discover what it means to position your brand and your business to stand out. This show explores the stories of small business owners just like you who are bringing their message out to the world and impacting their tribe. So if you want to take your business to a category of one status, then hang with me because this podcast shares everything you need to know about how to be more prolific with your brand so that you can have more profits. All right. It's so good to have you here uh, checking out this episode. As always, I'm always looking to put together just a nugget or two that you can deploy to position your brand to profit, right? To be more persuasive, to be more of an influencer in the microcosm of those premium prospects, those true fans that you are meant to serve. Now, this is a bit of an oldie, but a goodie. And I was talking to a client of mine just today about this very thing is that one of the most persuasive words that you can use or that can be used in your marketing is the word because. Yep, the word because. The reason is because this word can get you to the front of the line if you're at the bank or the supermarket or if you're looking to cut the line to make copies. So there was a whole study that the author Cialdini wrote about in his book from 2009 called persuasion where he gave that very reason where he said okay if somebody was had copies to make and they say hey can i use a xerox machine because i have copies when they say because i have to make copies compliance would go up by as high as 93 percent so 93 percent of people would say yeah yeah yeah, go ahead so it really shows the power of the word because can be influential. So even if the reason is invalid, so even if you were to say, hey, can I use a copy machine because I really got to go to the bathroom? It didn't even matter, right? If the reason is invalid, it adds persuasive power just to use the word because it reinforces the importance of the request. And so the author Cialdini talked about how research also shows that when the word because is used, individuals accept things and may not even need to listen to what comes after it, right? They are just hearing that there's a reason behind the request. And so they are more willingly ready to comply at a much higher level because there's a presumed justification. All just because you use the word because. So really, really uh, powerful. Now, because is normally used to justify a request that you make, right? So simply by telling someone to do something or for example, to buy something, this is how you can utilize it to be more influential, to persuade your premium prospect to move, right? If you are selling your product or service, you can talk about the reasons, right? How it applies to them. But when you use the word because, it reinforces the importance of it. 
right? So kind of like how, say for example, if someone tells a woman that she has to buy this particular power suit, a Prada power suit, they would not be as convinced when somebody tells them to buy a regular suit because it just looks okay on them. Instead, you could say a Prada power suit because this is going to give you the clout that you're looking for so that you're you're standing out amongst the competition, right? So by giving them a reason, you are opening up your premium prospect to take in the suggestion and you're telling them something extra, it helps them to really see that there is a reason, a justification for why you're saying what you're saying, okay? So the cool thing about that is that you can use the word because in so many different applications, whether it is in your copywriting, in your emails, on your sales pages, in everyday conversations, in your closing conversations, if you're having a sales conversation, remember the word because, the power of the word because, as Cialdini talked about, because compliance and acceptance is going to grow up considerably just by using the word because it doesn't even matter what comes after that that's the magical thing about it and think about this also several brands also really leverage the power of the word because in the marketing that they were doing for example the advertising slogan for l'oreal has been because you're worth it for so long for the last i think 40 some odd years and so what consumers found is that the phrase was catchy and it created that strong involvement right they felt involved by saying because i'm worth it so much so that when l'oreal kids came up with a slogan they utilized that same slogan in a slightly different way to say because we're worth it too right they added to also and so this is the power of the word because. So this is just a really quick episode to share with you the power of the word because. Let me know how you're utilizing it. Full credit goes to Cialdini who uh, created the studies alongside with some other psychologists back in the 70s and 80s really testing out the power of the word because and the application and how influential it was as a result of just utilizing that one word. So with that, hope that helps. Let me know if you apply it. Um, I'm over on TikTok now and I'm going to be adding even more content on there. So if you're there, follow me on TikTok. I think if you just do positioning to profit, I come up. So I'll be over on TikTok. I'm actually enjoying it a whole lot more than uh, being on Facebook or even on Instagram, but shh, don't tell others. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's it for today. Thank you so much for checking out this episode and we'll catch you next time. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for checking out this episode of Positioning to Profit. Please leave a review if you have gained a benefit from this episode. I appreciate it greatly and I will give you a shout out on the show as well. I so appreciate the ratings and reviews. Okay, also for the positioning extravaganza, head over to positioningtoprofit.com. There's lots of goodies over there. It's a treasure chest of freebies as well as beautiful courses that will help you to establish your category of one and move your brand forward. And again, connect with me over on socials or on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. I'm on the socials. So I hope to connect with you there and I look forward to catching up with you real soon.